This clip demonstrates how to create a scheduler with the Elvis configuration tool. Select the page in order to create a scheduler. Click the right mouse button and select Add Schedule. A new schedule window has been created and a preview can be seen. Click the right mouse button again and select Add Data Points to open the menu Data Point Selection and Management. Choose Scheduler and press the button New to create a scheduler. Type in a name and a valid time. You can create the valid time either with the calendar or by typing in with your keyboard. Now go to the submenu Scheduled Data Points to choose proper data points which will be triggered. Click the button Attach and select a data point. In this example, NVO Temperature. Just click OK and you can now specify presets with different temperatures. For this example, we use a preset with the name Day. Click Create and type in any favored temperature, in this example 21 degrees Celsius. Create a second preset, name it Night and make it 18 degrees. Switch to Configuration. Here we can set a default for every day by clicking on the right mouse button. In this case we define that our heating starts every day in night operation. Now create a new event. Therefore click Create new scheduled event. Type in a name, choose a preset, in this case day, and define a time for the start and the end. Here it's from 8 to 6 pm. You can select from different event types. In this example we choose weekly because the heating should follow this scheduler every Monday. Last but not least you can select a priority. 0 means highest priority and 126 means lowest priority. Finish the action by clicking OK. Repeat this process for the other workdays. Tuesday is similar to Monday. On Wednesday the building is occupied from 6 a.m. Thursday is similar to Monday and Tuesday. And on Fridays we have a short day. After we've created our weekly routine we can finish this procedure with Create Scheduler. The new scheduler is saved and can be seen in our menu. Choose the scheduler, click select and go back to the main menu. In the preview you can see the result of our modifications.